Mass General is fortunate to have a long list of firsts in biomedical research, beginning with the first public demonstration of ether as general anesthesia, to the first use of x-rays in this country, to the first human uh, limb reattachment, and we're certainly hopeful that's just the beginning of our long list and it gets longer and longer over time. Some of the most exciting research that I've seen happen here over the last five years is research that was much too early, much too out of the box for it to be fundable by the NIH or other supporters of research. And fortunately, we have some flexible support that can allow scientists, clinicians who come up with ideas uh, today to start testing those ideas tomorrow. We're in the midst of a cutting-edge, forward-thinking pilot clinical trial for a device that we're hoping will one day restore mobility to people with paralysis. We've developed targeted therapies in cancer. We're trying to understand the role that genes play in psychiatric disorders and behavior. We're investigating xenotransplantation, the use of animal organs in humans. What we're trying to do is develop an HIV vaccine that rids the world of this pandemic. I have to say one of the things that makes this place so unique from a scientific perspective is just the breadth and depth of researchers and resources that are brought to bear on a problem. MGH realizes that only through research will we be able to improve clinical care in the future. I would find it hard to believe that we could be doing what we're doing anywhere else except for Mass General. I've never found someone here refuse a collaboration because they're just as curious about developing better ways to take care of patients as we are. One of the reasons such forward-thinking research has a home here at MGH is the remarkable research infrastructure. We've had tremendous support, tremendous guidance. We couldn't be doing the research that we're doing uh, without their help. MGH is a place where research and patient care are linked together. And what that does is it keeps the scientific research focused on real patients. We have engineers and biologists that really have never seen a patient. And when you bring them to the bedside and say, here's how your work is going to help this child in the future, has been uh, really inspirational. Some of the biggest discoveries that we've made have come from people who didn't come to MGH to work on cancer. They were obstetricians, they were psychiatrists, and something of what they put together has a tremendous bearing on cancer. It's now unprecedented the amount of back and forth between the clinic and the lab, and it's really ushering in a whole new era where those two are going to work side by side like they never have before. It is one of the only hospitals in the world to have a department that focuses entirely on human biology. We are geeks, and the way you really get fundamental advances is by combining geeks who are trying to figure out how to solve this little problem or that little problem together with somebody who's thinking practically about how to make a patient better. And that synergy really drives research at Mass General Hospital. It's been said that Mass General is a place like no other, and I, I truly believe that. I think people who come to work here don't really feel like they're coming to work. They feel like they're coming to a calling, and, uh, and we're just so fortunate to have such a talented, dedicated, passionate group of people who work uh, taking direct care of patients, discovering the future of medicine, training the next generation of healthcare professionals, and they do that tirelessly with incredible commitment and passion.